hi guys fagun here from integration lab so today i am going to show you something like that if you are getting some bulk data in a json format or let's suppose you are getting a csv file and in email as an attachment how can you push that whole csv data into google sheet okay or maybe you are getting any json data for example your woocommerce order or someone uh, somewhere else like uh, you are getting an api response with uh, multiple uh, records okay and you want to push all that data into google sheet now till now there was a limit in public connect which is an integration software like zapier and uh, integromet so the limit was you will easily cross the api rate limit for google sheet which is 60 uh, 60 60 request per 60 seconds right per user so this limit is very 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 small so you need what you needed to do, do was like you need to set up some kind of delay in between and delay will also cost you one task and it will cause just many 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 issues because there will be a limit on iterator as well and everything right so today public connect team has announced in their facebook group that they have added something called uh, add multiple row action right so today i am going to test it right now live with uh, you guys okay so i have set up one uh, email inbox uh, in parseo if you haven't seen my parseo video you can check that on my channel as well it is a email parsing tool specially i specially use that for document parsing okay so using this what i am going to show you is that i will uh, send data from this one to your uh, public connect vbook in a json format okay from csv file to public connect vbook in a json format so how can we do that so in order to achieve that uh, we can do di directly go in here go in inbox okay and send an email on this uh, particular email address or you can first set up go here and set up a webhook so in here we will copy this particular webhook edit here we need to select this first one okay and webhook enable should be ticked on and add webhook now you can see the webhook is added and it should trigger if we upload any kind of document right so we can go in here and we can actually pass this file the this is the data format i want to pass in a csv file so i will drag it and drop it here uh, okay okay yeah this will work i think so somehow it adds ask me to download my own file again so this is a sample file i got from internet and yeah we are trying to pass that in the webhook data right so let's go back here and if we see here you can see there's a all other uh, total 99 records are in here okay but we actually forgot to uh, capture it in simple response turned off in a json array right so i will just go back in overview csv parser and i will upload the same file one more time right yeah as you can see it has already been up uploaded and yeah now you can see that we have received this data in json format okay so what will we do next so first we need to create the header row in a google sheet okay we need to create a google sheet we also need to set up a header row so i will set up this header row like this okay multiple rows g sheet is the google sheet name now here in the second step you need to use something called uh, data transformer and you need to use line itemizer again this is a free task so it won't cost you anything and you need to pass this json array in here and it will give you output something like this so all the region uh, records with comma are comma separated in here right now here comes the great part you choose the google sheet okay and you use add multiple row action connect it save it just see how easy it is you know like to pass bulk data now okay so let's choose the region so 
we set up the region from second step country we will select the item type we will select the sales channel we will select the order priority we will select the order date order id okay 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 shipped units sold now i am thinking this is a too much data i i mean i can do at a uh, lesser data as well so unit cost total revenue total cost second last uh, and the last one is total profit right and we hit the save and send this request as you can see total of 100 data has been pushed in without okay without any rate limit errors right so this is the biggest update of public connect regarding google sheet the next big update will be as per their founder has already shared will be like supporting multiple sheet in a single workbook for triggers but till then i think so this is this one is the biggest update in public connect google sheet integration till now okay so yeah uh, that's what i wanted to share with you and yeah most probably see you in the next video okay thanks bye don't forget to subscribe my channel oh one more thing i will also like let's push uh, push that same file one more time so uploaded it again and let's wait in here right 102 so we are currently in 102 row number right and let's wait here for it to trigger you can see it is already uploaded let's check the history one time as well uh okay past data okay okay it is not showing any data after 649 so i think so i need to upload it one more time it is a parseo side issue maybe let me refresh it one more time yeah now it is showing 653 data right so yeah we should yeah as you can see Uh, the whole another hundred rows are add, added, so this makes your work much 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 easier. Uh, so yeah, guys, if you decide to purchase Public Connect, make sure you use my affiliate link. Make sure you subscribe my channel, and yeah, uh, keep automating stuff. See you in the next video. Bye bye.